discussion with, together with APDK, that is Association for the Physically Disabled of Kenya. And right on my right here, I'm joined by two special guests, two amazing guests who we are going to discuss together to find out what does APDK do, what they have to offer, what exactly do they indulge. Welcome. Karibu sana kwenye show. Okay, thank you. Maybe we can introduce starting from you. Okay, morning. I'm um, Delvin Obara. Mm -hmm. I'm a youth ambassador from yeah. APDK. Yeah. I'm a person with albinism. Mm -hmm. All right. How about you? I'm um, Vanessa Atino. Mm -hmm. I am youth ambassador. I'm youth ambassador and the and the beneficiary of APDK. Mm -hmm. And I and the nature of my disability is cerebral palsy. Thank right. you. And of course, this morning my sign language interpreter is Esther Kenny. Now, to begin, guys, you are ambassadors. Yeah. I'm in company of two ambassadors in the building, in the room. What exactly do you do as ambassadors? Mm. To start with, if so. As ambassadors mm -hmm. of BBDK, our role was to create awareness and sensitization on the environment at large on matters of people living with disabilities mm -hmm. how they should relate with them how are they supposed to make the environment friendly mm -hmm. how, how are they supposed to handle people with disabilities mm -hmm. and we, ch we chose to focus first on employment yeah. health education and going on forward we are going to ensure that the uh, the country at large is environmentally friendly for people with disability. All right, I'm assuming you both have the same roles, right? Yes. yes. All right. Now, as uh, maybe you're you're also beneficiaries of the APDK, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the core values of, of APDK? Maybe this could not be the right question for you guys, but at least you have been with them. What are some of the core values? What what they aim to achieve as APDK? Okay, APDK mm -hmm. is an organization that provides mm -hmm. assi assistive devices, yeah. especially the physical challenge, mm -hmm. and to help them to live a comfortable life. It also does therapy mm -hmm. for, like, for my friend here, mm -hmm. um, cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. oh. They also assist us with the sunscreen, like for me, yeah. to apply to protect me from the sun mm -hmm. so it's also empowers it is concerned about the welfare of people with disability mm -hmm. to get empowered mm -hmm. to also learn mm -hmm. in a inclusive environment basically to, to empower people yeah. through health uh, education and livelihood right so yeah. those are the basic yeah. core values right yeah yeah its purpose is mm -hmm. to ensure that we people living with disabilities mm -hmm. uh, are able to coexist in the developing environment and live an animal life mm -hmm. just it focuses on our welfare ensuring that we are able to engage with people in our environment yeah. in a comfortable manner without fear of victimization or discrimination mm -hmm. all right then yes. what did you do in the pdk Oh, for me, I joined the BDK after I did my form four. Yeah, yeah, that's when I joined. The that was which year? <laughs> Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. After now, right? You are yeah. ambassador. Yeah. Wow. And you? For me, I can say BDK has been a second home to me mm -hmm. because I joined it in nineteen ninety eight. Immediately, I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. Yeah. I, I joined the PDK whereby we, the, my parents received guidance and counseling mm -hmm. and from there I started the therapy, the assessments, the therapy and the assistive devices I needed. Mm -hmm. They were all there. So APDK is a one-stop shop mm -hmm. for a person yeah. living with disability. You can, there is no services that you cannot get in APDK. Mm -hmm. Everything is there. You just need to go there. They will assess you. They will give you the necessary counseling required and they will just empower you to ensure that you live a comfortable mm -hmm. life as a person with disability. So for me, mm -hmm. APDK, I joined it in 1998 
there from there up 24, to 25 years down yes the line. 25 years down the line i'm still a member mm-hmm. and i am still benefiting from the values that apdk has instilled in me wow for you since 2019 that is probably uh four or five years there uh, how has been the experience working with apdk uh apdk is a good organization mm-hmm. according to me yeah it has made me grow mm-hmm. i had no self esteem wow. but they have made me get empowered through mm-hmm. the trainings that they offer mm-hmm. through the courage they give me mm-hmm. to handle the advocacy field as an ambassador yeah, yeah. self esteem is still a problem in our society today how have we been able to you know deal with discrimination from the outside world especially from people who don't understand much about the disability okay through pdk mm-hmm. going us through the trainings yeah so they they are they were able to educate us mm-hmm. on how to handle people who discriminate us mm-hmm. so i'm able to to explain to someone how how can they handle us mm-hmm. i had not that courage before but for now I so can't. you also enlighten people yeah when people try to discriminate you you enlighten them yeah wow what about you have you had issues with uh, self esteem for me mm-hmm. not much because mm-hmm. actually me i can say i've not had any issue with my self esteem number one why because mm-hmm. for me i grew up with the pdk mm-hmm. right from when i was a, a baby mm-hmm. so they 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 brought me up in st- uh, just educating me on how i should handle the environment around me mm-hmm. just ensuring that i my my self esteem is way up mm-hmm. by engaging me in various activities mm-hmm. ensuring that there is no activity that i have not engaged in and also ensuring that i am in school and participating actively in co curricular activity yeah. which has really helped in building mm-hmm. my self esteem you know the more you talk the more you grow mm-hmm. as you continue talking yeah. you grow as you continue engaging in activities you grow and also mm-hmm. since my parents were also given the the counseling they require mm-hmm. they have also helped me not to focus much on the outside envi- environment mm-hmm. and to educate also the environment on how they should handle us mm-hmm. yes let me ask you this question because probably Vanessa you know, might not be able to remember when she joined and how was the procedure maybe for you at least you joined when you were a bit you know mm-hmm. mature enough yeah. what is the procedure of joining a pdk for someone who is watching and probably um, he or she is person with disability and he also has interest in joining or benefiting from the pdk okay first of all i can advise people mm-hmm. when you want to join there's a card that we own mm-hmm. that we we fill some forms yeah we have our council mm-hmm. that when we fill a form mm-hmm. then we get a card that de- defines you as a person with, a, with disability that is an apdk card mm-hmm. um, and the other card is really a national, national card or national for the national council yeah all right <laughs> so with that mm-hmm. they are able to recognize you mm-hmm. you are a person with disability yeah. you know some disability mm-hmm. you cannot see them unless that person communicates to you <laughs> yeah so that card defines you through that card mm-hmm. you can they are is they are it is easy them to get you mm-hmm. yeah all right what mm-hmm. about can you remember anything and you, for me the stories thank you. i don't <laughs> remember anything yeah. but what i can say mm-hmm. you you just visit the organization the organization is open you can visit it's located at wayaki mm-hmm. so if you want to join you can visit the organization and it will give you more information even if you don't have the card they will also give you the procedure mm-hmm. of how to get that then the card from the national council and they mm-hmm. will get they also have caregivers mm-hmm. for me i have a caregiver assigned to me in that mm-hmm. if i have any issue mm-hmm that i am i am dealing with i yeah. reach out to that caregiver sent to me and then the caregiver will now get to the organization mm-hmm. and give my challenge so as when you join you are located the caregiver who will guide you through mm-hmm. the process that you are given someone to work with you all through the process mm-hmm. you guys are glowing you guys look empowered 
maybe there's someone watching there and he or she is ignorant of maybe joining APDK. What are the benefits? You have, you have mentioned a few, you know, they are your second home. Mm. You have, you have uh, benefited from their facilities. How about, what are some of, some of the other, you know, uh, the benefit that maybe or the importance of joining APDK? Uh, as you join AP, APDK, mm. when you join APDK, number one, mm. that assessment and the therapy, mm. it, it's, a, it's an achievement, you know. As soon as you join, they give you the therapy, the counseling. Yeah. It will also help you to accept yourself. You know, mm -hmm. for for some parents or the people living with disability, yeah. it's difficult to accept it right from the word go. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you join a PDK, mm -hmm. they they will help you through the process. It's not an easy process. It's not a walk in the park. But mm -hmm. they will guide you through accept the acceptance process on how to deal with your condition yeah. how are you able to just to adapt to your condition for you to live a normal life you know this uh, especially for the people who acquire their disability you know for me yeah. i can say my disability i was born with a disability mm -hmm. but for people who acquire their disability mm -hmm. it's somehow d more difficult for them to accept for disability mm -hmm. is more like a second baby it's like mm -hmm. a baby mm -hmm. when you receive you have a baby you have to make the environment friendly yeah. for that child to adapt that is the same way we should treat disability mm -hmm. you have to adapt to make your environment comfortable for you to perform mm -hmm. the the necessary work that it that you needed to perform so APDK will guide you through the process it will ensure that you get a school that is comfortable and and and, and the learning environment is also friendly for you to be able to cope with your learners without disability they will also ensure that you participate in extracurricular activity and build your self-esteem right from the word go so nice. they will li literally gr help you grow and live a normal life wow Wow, that's really amazing. Does it mean also APDK, you know, finances you, uh, sponsors you in every way they can? Yeah, mm -hmm. they have, we, they, we are sponsored through high school, yeah. all the ways. They ensure that you, until you, you get the necessary skills that you, you require f to enter the employment sector. Mm -hmm. Which is in line with their objective, that is education. Yes health and you know yes. uh, livelihood yes you joined us. fdk after you had finished form four yeah. what are some of the benefits that you have had were they still taking you through college you know tell us a bit more how are you yet to join oh after my form four yeah so they are they are still driving with me mm -hmm. i joined college yeah they're still guiding me mm -hmm. so through their guidance yeah i'm comfortable now. Mm -hmm. yeah i'm able to learn mm -hmm. I'm able to also educate others how to join the group because even um, for the person who has joined yeah. the organization yeah. and the one who has not joined, mm -hmm. there's a difference. For me, mm -hmm. I'm empowered. I can live with anyone, you mm -hmm. see, the way I am. Wow. But for the ones who are not uh, attached to the organization, mm -hmm. there's that, that different. Mm -hmm. There is that, the esteem is not yet. Mm -hmm. You cannot, you know, when you are born in a family and yeah. you are you are a person with that genome, for example, me. Yeah. And I'm the only one child that is born there. In your family. I can notice the difference. Mm -hmm. So, autom automatically, yeah. I can see the difference. So this organization help us to grow. Mm -hmm. So I advise everyone that was disability to yeah. join the organization. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, uh. Unemployment is a big issue, and of course, it can really hit a person with disability because we still have we are still having an environment where, if you have a disability, you cannot be able to do something. You cannot be able to get work. That's why you guys are working in companies, giving advice, as you know, yeah. encouraging companies to promote an inclusive and provide an inclusive environment for employment as well. Yeah. Uh, one of the core values of APDK is to promote livelihoods. Of course, after they have taken you through school, after they have mm. taken you through, you know, high school, college, you need work. You need to depend on yeah. yourself. Yeah. Have they reached that point? Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, they have reached, mm -hmm. and that is our main role as ambassadors. Mm -hmm. We 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 are first of all we are given the skills that we needed to 
to go to partake this role as ambassador which is advocacy mm -hmm. so we go around advocating for the the right of employment for people with disability yeah. and from there we started right from we gathered few youths with disabilities mm -hmm. to find out what are, what are some of the challenges mm -hmm. they face in their life or just in their in their employment sector mm -hmm. because that is that is one of the main challenge mm -hmm. and so after we get we got the data from them we now went to the companies to find out why is it that they're not having people with disability why is it that they mm -hmm. people with disabilities are facing discrimination in their work environment yeah. so and we found out that mm -hmm. some of the the environment yeah. in the companies are not friendly mm -hmm. and some of the companies mm -hmm. they may not really know how to handle people with disabilities so that we conduct sensitization to them and mm -hmm. also we found out that people with disabilities do not apply for jobs maybe because they don't have the required skills mm -hmm. for that particular job so they end up they end up not qualifying for an interview mm -hmm. or somehow the employer may not accept them because he or she is afraid that the environment is not friendly to to accommodate the person with disability mm -hmm. so now as our uh, it is one of our roles to ensure that the employ the employer mm -hmm. knows how to to make the environment to friendly for a person with disability to be able to work and perform mm -hmm. his or her functions and yeah. roles in the company mm -hmm. how how they should be handled the equal of how they should be treated in equal opportunities mm. in the environment as they work so we go around sensitizing that those companies ensuring that uh, if an an employee with disability turns up mm. they are, they are accepted and given an opportunity to work in that environment yeah. and given a conducive environment to work wow wow association for the physically disabled of kenya seem to be a life changing as for you, uh, Delvin, yes. maybe I'm sure you have benefited a lot from APDK. Mm -hmm. Can you rate them out of 10? Rate them out of 10. <laughs> out of 10? Yeah. I can give it 8. 8, yeah? yeah. Wow, 8 is, is a good one. They are yeah. doing well. Yeah. They are doing well. What about you? Me, for me, I'll give them. Uh, if it were possible, I would give them 10 over 10, but I'll give 9 because eh, yeah. let's just give them 10 because practically yeah. there is nothing for me I have lacked in wow. APDK. If I have grown with it. There so it's, a, eh, it's an organization that I know, so I've grown with it. Even if they say that there is nothing like perfection, mm. but I know me, there is nothing for me as You're a person satisfied. with disability that mm -hmm. I have lacked in APDK. You're satisfied. Yes. Because you know I gave them eight yeah. because uh -huh. there are some things they are yet to accomplish. Oh so, impending projects. Yeah. Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> You're smart. <laughs> <laughs> now you have teachers labeled hundred percent for the children. Yeah. Maybe enlighten me or someone who's watching what does it mean? a hundred percent for the children it's now like this project that is focusing mm -hmm. on the employee it's a pilot project yeah. that focuses on the maybe employment mm -hmm. health and education just focusing and making sure that the people with disability mm -hmm. live a comfortable mm -hmm. life so it's a project we first started with employment we went to elections yeah. where we check are we really electing the right leaders oh, you that are able in the election too yeah wow. we we went so we, the, for there we, we went and checked are we really electing the right leaders the right, yeah. who will represent us are the leaders really performing their their functions mm. that they say that they will perform mm. so we we are part of our, our work yeah we we hold the leaders accountable mm -hmm. have we performed this one mm. are the policy being implemented mm. as parent with the constitution but because for me, mm -hmm. if I check, when it comes to Kenyan constitution, mm -hmm. the policy regarding people with disability, they are the best. Mm -hmm. But the main problem now comes when it comes to the implementation. implementation is a it is a very big challenge. So mm -hmm. we now go and focus on why is it difficult 
for the implementing of the policies. Mm -hmm. So that is the work of the 100% project. Mm -hmm. So 100% is all about health? No, uh -huh. health, mm -hmm. all round. All round. Yes, yeah. all round. Uh -huh. Again. Yeah, you are saying something? Yeah, again, we had a meeting with the president. On, I'm sitting now. The current president? Yeah. President Ruto. Yeah, All before right. the elections. Yeah. So he gave us the manifesto. Mm. So we are waiting for the promises that he made. Mm. We know they are still planning, but we are waiting for the act. Mm -hmm. So we are following up mm -hmm. as ambassadors. Mm -hmm. We are trying to fix in so yeah. that the, we don't put our policy and mm. it's not implemented. So mm -hmm. we are still waiting. Mm. They promised so. Mm. Yeah. Maybe give us a sneak peek of what some of the grievances that you gave the president. I'm really curious. What are some of the grievances that you you know you presented to the president? You see, you telling him you want this, you want this to be done. You know, like the seats, like CS. Mm -hmm. There is no person. We have the the only leader we have mm -hmm. now is a is Maura, Honorable Maura. Is that Maura? And that was like a appreciation. Yeah during the campaign. Uh -huh. So we are waiting. How yeah. will they balance? Mm -hmm. There are some seats that are occupied and people with disability, mm -hmm. the percentage they promised it's not yet accomplished. So we are still waiting. Mm -hmm. yeah. So hundred percent is all about uh, children am uh, all around it? Uh, no it's not all about children also the also the adults with disability and the caregiver. We also have youth mm -hmm youth mentors economic mentors sorry mm -hmm. these are the 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 adult and the caregivers of people living with disabilities yeah. whereby that you know for some parents they think that once i i get a child with a disability yeah. no i can i can't go to work because i have to stay at home and take care of this child so the economic mentors are taken through the skills that then that they need to like work and still take care of their children and they also taught how to take care of their children just how to like mentor the other the other parents yeah. or people of people with disabilities just mm -hmm. to take their children out you know you are persuading their mm -hmm. children with disability at home so the work of the economic mentor now mm -hmm. is to ensure that a parent like mm -hmm. lets the child get out of the house mm -hmm. gets the right education yeah. the right care the right school mm -hmm. and the right skills that the child will need to to like be able to be part of the environment mm -hmm. yes. all right as we finish now as we go for that break uh, you are ambassadors and of course whenever you do your projects whenever you go to visit those companies to give them advice on these and these and these you normally give reports right yes. uh, maybe how was the feedback? Was it positive or even negative? You can just be honest. <laughs> uh, some of the companies, yeah. they gave a positive answer that there will be a change. Mm -hmm. You know, like a change, mm -hmm. it cannot be changed on a, a, a day. Mm -hmm. it, it, there's a process. Yeah. Like a building with stairs that mm -hmm. was built a long time ago, it's not easy to change. Yeah. You keep rams on one day. So it's true. a process. Mm -hmm. So it's our work as ambassadors to follow up. Is mm -hmm. this thing done? Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. So we have to go on mm -hmm. reminding them. Persistence. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we are going for that prayer. When we come back, I really want to know. You know, Nini the woman and machine, you know, to go and find out what's happening. How is the inclusive environment going on? Are people promoting inclusive even in their workplaces, at home yeah. even, because we have family members who can designate their own, mm -hmm. you know. So we are going to find out after the break, I want you to tell us a bit, what are some of the core problems that persons with disability are facing, machinally, right after the break. <laughs> 